Shalom daddy. Shalom, shalom. Shalom mwana ngurumo. Nafurahi sana kurudi mara nyingine. Uh, I'm so delighted to come back here again. Na naona ni kibali kikubwa. I, I see it's a great favor. Na wakati nilipokuwa hapa mara hiyo nyingine ni when kama miaka mitano time, sasa. It's almost like 3 years ago. Imesha kuwa miaka mitano. Imesha kuwa miaka mitano. It has been 5 years now. Na ushuhuda ni kwamba wa kuhakikisha kwamba ni miaka mitano ni huu hapa. And uh, as a testimony this is the 5th year. Ni kwamba wakati nilikuwa hapa nilikuwa mjamzito wa, mia, wa miezi mitatu. When I was here I was uh, three month pregnant. Na ukanitamkia ya kwamba sitalia tena. And you declared a word a prophetic word to me that I'll cry no more. Nilikuwa nimempoteza mtoto wa kwanza akafia tumboni. I had lost the first child who died in the womb. Na wa pili kazaliwa lakini kafa miezi mitatu. And the second one was born and after three months uh, the child died. Kwa hivyo wakati nilipokuja hapa Therefore when I came here Nilikuwa na hofu. I, I was I was having great fear. Nilikuwa na machozi. I had tears. Na nilikuwa na uoga wa kushindwa kutakuwaje. And I, 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 I had the fear of expectations. Nilikuwa nimevaa ile tunasema plastic smile. Nilikuwa nimevaa tabasamu lisilo halisi. Kwa sababu huku na cheka. Because when I was laughing. Na moyoni na lia na naugua. But in the heart I am, I'm, I'm in tears, I'm weeping. Ni mke wa mchungaji. I, I, I'm a wife of a pastor. Na kwa hivyo siwezi kushare na waye yeyote kanisani. And, and, and therefore I cannot share with the, with the people, with the members of the congregation. Ni singe weza kushare even with my family. And I couldn't even share it with my family. Kwa sababu nilikuwa nimetengu but I was seriously rejected. Be, because I was in a place of rejection. Kwa sababu wengi walikuwa wamezungumza na wakasema. Kwa sababu wakati mtoto wapili ya likufa tulikuwa Tanzania. Uh, they, they said because the second child died when we were in Tanzania. Wengi walisema kuna weze kano mlimtoa mtoto kafara. Kwa sababu Tanzania tunasikia there is human sacrifice. They, they, they said uh, we are sure that you gave that child as a sacrifice because we hear in Tanzania there is human sacrifice. Na kwa hivyo ulikuwa ni muda mgumu sana kwangu na mume wangu. Therefore it was a very difficult period for me and my husband. Lakini nashukuliwe Mungu aliye tanguliza nyayo zangu na akanileta kwa haya madhabahu. But I thank God who led me who led my steps to this altar. Na akakuruhusu wewe kuona haja ya moyo wangu. And he allowed you to see the desire of my heart. Na nakushukuru. And I, I and I thank you. Kwa sababu na wewe haukujizuia kunitamkia mimi. Because you did not stop yourself to say that word of God to my life. Na ukasema sitalia tena. And you said I'll cry no more. Na ukanitamkia kibali cha Bwana. And you declared the favor of the Lord. Na leo nataka nishuhudie na najua nitamtia mtu moyo aliyetamkiwa kitu na baba Jo Davis siku ya leo. And I want I'm testifying that because I know I'm going to encourage somebody who received a prophetic word from our, our, our daddy the prophet. Ya kwamba na Simama mbele yenu siku ya leo sitasa that the person is standing in front of you he's not a Nilitifungua yule mtoto wa kike mwaka 2013 January. I got that uh, the first uh, the, fair, uh, the the child of January. The and daughter. when I was thinking that the Lord has done too much. When when I when nilipofikiria Bwana amefanya sana. In 2016. 2016. He did it again. Akafanya tena. Kwa hivyo mimi ni mama wa watoto wawili. Therefore I'm a mother of two right now. Na naomba nitoe sadaka ya shukrani Bwana. And I'm asking to give my offering of thanksgiving kuna mambo mengi ambayo alikuwa anasababisha kilio sio watoto tu there are a lot of things that were causing uh, uh, cries in my heart not only children jambo lingine lilikuwa ni karama ya uimbaji ambayo bwana ameweka ndani yangu another thing was the gift there's the gift of singing that the lord had placed in my heart nilikuwa naandika nyimbo lakini siwezi kurekodi kwa hivyo hata madaftari mengine na yachoma moto. I was writing songs but I couldn't record them therefore other books that I wrote the songs I just had to burn them. Nilikuwa nahisi bwana umenipa kitu ambacho hakiwezi kuwafikia watu na kwa hivyo hakina maana. There, I feel like God you have given me something that I it cannot reach to people therefore it's useless. Na kwa hivyo wakati uliniambia sitalia tena dad. Therefore at the time when you told me I'll cry no more. The other thing that I did. The other thing uh, I, I went and sang. I, I went and uh, nilienda nikaimba. Na hii ni zawadi yako kutoka kwangu. Oh, 
and this is my gift. Kionjo tu nilimwambia Bwana. In a simplicity as an intro I told the Lord these words. Jina lako lihimidiwe. Tangu leo na tamilele. Unayemkumbuka tasa. Nyumba ya keika jafura. Umetamalaki. Hakuna kama wewe. Malaika jubinguni. Wana kuinu wa daima. Uliyeja wana rehema. Nita kwa budu milele. Woni wimbo mmoja. That's one song among the ones that I'm having that city. Haikufika mwisho. But that was not the end. Kwa muda mrefu nilikuwa najihisi kwamba wito wangu ni kuwa tumke wa mtumishi. For the for a lot of time I thought like my my calling was just to be a wife of a minister. Na kwa hivyo nilikuwa mke mzuri kweli. Therefore I just became a very good wife. Na hata yeye mwenyewe mume wangu alikuwa ananiambia kuna kitu cha Mungu ndani yako. And even my husband was telling me there is something of God that is in you. And actually he would tell me your ministry is bigger than my ministry. Na na wakati mwingine akawa ananiambia huduma yako ni kubwa kuliko huduma yangu. Lakini sikuwa naamini. But I, I, I couldn't believe that. Kwa sababu huku ndani kulikuwa na mambo mengi ya enayo nifanya ni jione duni. Because inside of me there are a lot of things that made me belittle myself. Lakini baada ya hilo neno. But after that word. I'm another person daddy. Nimekuwa mtu mwingine kabisa baba. Na sijitangulizi kwamba mimi ni mwimbaji na jiita mimi ni mtumishi wa Mungu. Uh, I do not just I introduce myself as a singer, I introduce myself as a servant of God. Na Bwana ameninua katika mlima wa wanawake. And, and the Lord has lifted me among women. Amefungua milango na safiri huku na huku nikizungumza na wanawake. He has opened the door for me. I'm traveling here and there different places speaking to women. Na neno alilokoweka ndani yangu ni kwamba ni wainue wanawake back to suitable helpfulness. Na neno ambalo amenipa kwa ajili ya wanawake ni waweze kuwa msaada unaofaa. Kama alivowaumba tangia mwanzo. Just like just like the way he created them from the beginning. Na siku ya leo dad. And today dad. I've come to say I honor you to the moon and back. Na kuheshimu kama na kama ningeweza kwenda kwenye mwezi na kurudi tena. Kama Mungu angekuita na usikubali wito. If God could have called you and you said no to his calling. Sijui ningekuwa wapi. I don't know where I would have been. Na wale ambao nimekuwa nikiwafikia nisingeweza kuwafikia. And the ones that have been reaching them I could not reach them anymore. Furaha ninayohisi nikiangalia kwenye simu yangu naona picha za watoto wangu. The joy that I feel when I look at my phone and look at the, at the photos of my children. Nisingekuwa nayo. I could not have that joy. Kwa hivyo nataka kusema Mungu azidi kukutia nguvu. Therefore I'm just saying may the Lord empower you even more. May God open greater doors for you. Hallelujah. Ule milango mikuu zaidi. Najua hata wewe una matamanio ndani ya moyo wako. Because I know even inside you you have things that you desire. Naomba Bwana akuhifadhi. I pray that may the Lord preserve you. Na kama vile nilisoma kwenye kitabu cha wafalme. As I read in the book of Kings. Wakati Daudi alikuwa anakimbia kutoka kwa Sauli. When, when David was running from Saul. Akasaidiwa na Ahimelech. And he, he was helped by Ahimelech. Sauli akaamua kumuua Ahimelech kwa sababu amekuwa msaada kwa Daudi. And, and Saul decided to kill Ahimelech because he was help unto David. Ombi langu ni kwamba kwa sababu umekuwa msaada hautaondolewa. My prayer is that because you have been a help you shall not be moved. Kama vile umevusha watoto wa Mungu wana wa ngurumo naye Mungu atakuvusha. I pray, I pray as you help the children uh, the, the children here at the church to cross over I believe God will make you cross over even more Na ukiniruhusu nitawahimiza wanangurumo kwa mara nyingine tena kama nilivyofanya siku niliyokuwa hapa And if you allow me I will urge I'll urge the member the, the sons of the pro and daughters of the prophet at the time as I did before Ya kwamba pamoja na kumshangilia na kumpenda baba That together with uh, with celebrating and loving our dad 
Inafaa kumuombea kila siku. It is worth to pray for him every day. Yeye anafunga na kuomba. He fasts and prays. Ili anaposimama kwenye haya madhabahu kila siku kuna kitu kwa ajili yako. So that you may whenever he sends here there may be something for you. Na hata wakati hayuko anafunga na kuomba. Even when he is not here he is fasting and praying. I, ili Mungu amuimarishe yeyote atakaye simama kwa ajili yako. It's so that the Lord may made, may make every single person standing here fame for you. Hawezi kuwa na fedha na dhahabu za kumpa. You may, you may not have silver and gold to give him. Wezi kuwa na magari na mahela ya kumpa. You maybe you don't have the cars and money to give him. Lakini nakushi kila asubuhi fungua kinywa chako. But I beseech you that every morning open up your mouth. Kila jioni kabla jua kutua fungua kinywa chako. Before the sun sets open your mouth. Na umwambie Mungu ambariki mtumishi wake. And tell God and ask God tell God bless yourself. Azidi kumtia nguvu. Encourage yourself. Azidi kumuinua viwango ngo vingine lift your servant to other levels Nchi nyingi zisidi kufungua milango yake yes. kwa ajili ya those may be open in different countries kwa jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus Fungua mdomo wako mwambie Mungu kitu Isi ile tunasema tutakwenda kuomba nyumbani kama kweli unampenda nabii wa Mungu fungua if, kinywa chako If you really love the prophet of God open your mouth Isi ile arudia nyuma yangu lakini ni kutoka kwa moyo wako yeah. Just from your heart, just say something before just God. Just speak the to the Lord. Ongea na Bwana. Mfalme na Baba wangu nakutukuza. Father and my King, I bless you. I give you all the glory and I give you all the praise. Na kuinua na kupa utukufu na sifa zote. Thank you that you have raised your own in our generation. Kwa sababu umeinua nabii wako katika kiza chetu. I do not take it for granted, my Father. Si chukuli kwa rahisi baba yangu. But I pray that you continue to strengthen him. Na naomba uendelee kumtia nguvu masiwa. That you continue to uplift him. Oh God. Ya, ya kwamba Bwana uendelee kumuinua hata zaidi. And like he has been a help to so many of us oh God. Kwa sababu amekuwa msaada kwa wengi Bwana. I pray to your father. Ninakuomba baba. That every morning. Ya kwamba kila asubuhi. You shall send him support from Zion. Tutamsem tutamsemea maneno kutokea Sayuni. You shall send him help from your holy Tuta, hill. Tutamtumia msaada kutoka hapa takatifu pako. Raise up faithful sons and daughters for him. Baba ninakusihi umwinulie watoto wa kiume na wa kike walioaminifu. Whatever the desire that lays deep in his heart. Ya kwamba chauku na natamanio lolote ndani ya moyo wake. Because of our gratitude of him oh God. Kwa sababu ya ya shukurani ya mioyo yetu. Because of our gratitude for what he has done for us. Kwa sababu ya shukurani ya mioyo yetu kwa yale aliyotutendea. Let it please you to honor it my redeemer. Let it please you to honor his desire so God. Nikupendeze Bwana kuzitimiza shauku zake. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Asiwai kukosa ebu Bwana. Let him not lack oh God. Open supernatural doors oh God. Kwa milango ya kimu ya kimungu. In the name of Jesus. We give you praise and we give you glory. Thank you because you will give him divine connections. In places he could have never dreamt of going. That your name may be honored. Because he has represented your kingdom. Mana that befits honor. I pray that you may represent him, O God. In the name of Jesus. We exalt you, Lord. We bless you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Kwa muujiza ambao Mungu amemtendea mama huyu for the miracle that God has done for this woman wakuto kufanya watoto wake wafe of making his children die no more angalia amekuwa muombaji kwa ajili ya yangu na madhabahu she has become a prayer a prayer warrior for me 
Na ameuliza kama mnakuwa na huo moyo wa kuomba. And she has asked if you have that heart of praying. Na hilo neno la kuombea huduma hii na kuniombea alilipata tangu siku ile nilipomtamkia. You know the desire to pray for the miss ministry and pray for me this this spirit got into her since the day I declared the word to her. Kwa sababu nakumbuka siku ile ile aliongea hapa na huwa mnasikia kwenye radio mara kwa mara anasema muombeeni baba muombeeni baba the first day i said to her she sasa kenya tunalia aliongea maneno ya ndio huyo she said that time uh, pray for our father right now in kenya we are crying na mpaka sasa ni miaka mitano right now it's five years umeunganishwa na hii madhabahu kwa ajili ya kuombea madhabahu hii you have been connected to this altar so that you may pray for it uwapo kenya upako utakushukia kuendelea kuombea madhabahu hii when you are in kenya the anointing shall come upon you to pray for this altar na mungu atakupa wanawake wengine kenya ambao wataungana nawe kuombea madhabahu hii and god shall give you other women in kenya so that you may be able to pray for this for wewe this utakuwa ni mtume wa bwana you will be an apostle of god wito wako ni wa kitume you are, you are calling is apostolic kwa ajili ya kuombea madhabahu hii na kuyafikia mataifa so, so that you can pray for this ministry and reach unto the world naachilia mafuta juu yako ya kitume apostolic oil apostolic and uh, uh, apostolic anointing, anointing. naachilia mafuta ya kitume kuanzia sasa from this time from this day forward ili kwamba so that Mungu hatapunguza maneno kwenye kinywa chako kuanzia tarehe leo. God shall not reduce word in your mouth from this day. Nyanyua kipaji cha uso kidogo. Lift up your face. Ninaachilia mafuta ya kitume kutokea tarehe leo. An apostolic anointing from this day. Mafuta haya yataendelea kuwa na nguvu. This and this anointing shall keep on being stronger in you. Saa na mahali popote utakapoambia watu tuombe madhabahu ya Arusha ya Nabii Joe David. Any time you tell people let's pray for the altar in Arusha of the honor of prophet Dr. Joe David. Kwa sababu wewe una ushuhuda unaoishi ndani yako. Because you have a living testimony in you. Watu watatii. People will obey. Na maneno yako yatawagusa watu na kuwafungua katika nchi utakazokuwa unatembea kwenye. And your words shall touch people and set them free from diff- in different countries that you shall reach. Milango yako imefunguka tangu tarehe leo. Your days are open since, since this day. Maneno yako yameongezewa nguvu katika uh, matamshi yako utakapokuwa kutamka. Your words have been energized in every decree from your mouth. Kuanzia tarehe leo. From this day forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.